In this tutorial segment, we'll be looking at 2D viewing commands. To start, I'm going to draw a few objects. I'm going to click on the circle icon, left click to define the center point of the circle, and left click again to define the radius. I'll draw a second circle, and then add a line segment. Right click and select enter to exit the command. On the standard toolbar, we see the zoom real time command. When I click on that, you'll see that the cursor now looks like a magnifying glass. If I click and drag with the left mouse button, the objects appear to get smaller. In fact, we are moving away from or zooming out on the objects that I've drawn. Notice that the zoom real time command is still in effect. I can still see the cursor. So if I click and drag, this time moving upwards, I zoom in on the objects. It appears that the objects are getting larger, but in fact, I'm just getting closer. I can zoom in further if I click and drag upwards again. If I right click at this point, a context menu appears. You see that there's an option to pan. I'll select that, and now the cursor is changed to a hand. When I click and drag, it appears that the objects are moving. In fact though, I'm just changing the viewing window. Just think of panning with the movie camera. We're getting the same effect here. To end the pan or zoom real time command, you can right click and select exit. The pan real time icon is located on the standard toolbar. It starts you out in pan mode rather than the zoom mode. Just as before, you can switch to zoom by right clicking. Instead of selecting zoom, I will now demonstrate zoom window. Click on zoom window and you see that the cursor changes. If I click and drag, you can see the outline of the window. And when I release the mouse button, AutoCAD zooms in to the extents of the window. Now I'll right click and exit the command. Notice that in zooming in on these different circles, it appears that the circles really aren't circles at all. It looks like it is composed of straight line segments. In order to improve the performance, AutoCAD draws curved objects as straight line segments. There's a command called regen that will regenerate the database. So I'll type R-E-G-E-N, hit enter, and you'll see that those line segment approximations of circles are now smoothed out to look like circles once again. I will now demonstrate using the zoom command with the keyboard. The alias for zoom is Z, so you can type zoom or Z and hit enter. Down at the command line, you can see several options. There is zoom window, there's also something called zoom extents, and also notice zoom previous. So I'll type E for extents and press enter. The effect of zooming to the extents of the drawing is that all of the objects that I've created will just fit inside the drawing area. Notice that the zoom command has ended. Let's look at the zoom command again. I'll hit C, press enter. Now let's type P for previous. Press enter and you see the effect there is that we jump back to the previous view that we had. Now the last thing that I'll look at here is using the scroll bars and mouse wheel. The scroll bars are located at the bottom right and right side of the drawing area. If I click and drag on the scroll bar, scroll left or right, you can see that this really has the same effect as panning. If you have a mouse wheel, you can use it to zoom in and out. Notice that AutoCAD zooms in and out based on the location of the cursor when you use the mouse wheel. I will now finish by zooming out to the extents of the drawing. Type Z, press enter, and select the extents option. This then completes the tutorial segment on 2D viewing. We've looked at zooming and panning real-time, 
we looked at regenerating a drawing using the regen command. We've looked at using the zoom command from the command line and also using the scroll bars to pan and the mouse wheel to zoom.